Welcome to Game Reviews, I'm going to be talking about Gears of War 4. Alright, so this game was actually rather disappointing. Uh, the only thing it really had going for it was its graphics. I actually wasn't expecting the game to look so good. The guns, the scenery, your allies, your character, everything looked really good. Uh, even the blood and gore looked actually really good. But the sad thing is, is that's all that's good about the game. The start of the game opens a bunch of questions that don't get answered until the end. And even then, not all of them get answered. And you don't really feel any real attachment to any of the characters that you've been kind of hanging out with throughout the whole entire game. And I'm not going to say which character, but one of them really annoyed me throughout the whole entire game. There were points where the story would pick up, but most of the story was just very boring and it just felt like torture playing the game at some points. Also I'm kind of disappointed that the recoil has kind of been reduced. I don't know it just might be me but I find that it's been reduced to the point that you can just stand there and point the gun at the enemy and just fire away. And the newer enemies you fight there is no difficulty to them. You can just aim and shoot at them. The bigger ones, you just stay out of their way and you just fire away. This whole Gears of War 4 just feels like a money grab. I'm actually very, very disappointed in this game. I expected so much more out of it. I just want to jump back to the story real quick. There's one part in the story at the beginning of the game where you're just fighting robots and whatnot. That was actually kind of interesting. It, I wish they kind of stuck with that instead of going into the direction that they did go into. Because I actually think that would have made the game more interesting, the story more compelling. Because how the story is now, and I could be wrong, and this is a spoiler warning, but the game goes from you fighting robots and fighting the cog to you fighting... I could be wrong about this, but you're pretty much fighting zombie locusts that seem to have like the ability of the flood from Halo. And every chapter has this little storm section where you have to try and get to shelter and dodge the lightning at the same time. And when you hit these storm sections, the combat becomes so easy because you're able to knock things down and just wipe out a whole group of enemies all at once and just continue walking. The only part that's actually difficult about them is dodging the lightning and that's only difficult if you're not really paying attention to what's going on. And unlike other Gears of War games, the ending of this one was very disappointing. It was completely unsatisfying. It made me feel like the whole time I've just been playing the demo of the actual game that's going to be coming out soon. I have to say the most interesting part of the whole entire game was when I got to drive around on the motorcycle. And even that was kind of boring and dull. There was no real challenge to it. I, you didn't really even have to dodge things if you didn't want to. But yeah, that's all for now and I'm going to put on my Captain Obvious hat and say I don't recommend this game at all. It's a horrible game. Don't buy it unless you can get it for 10 bucks. And even then, I think that's a little pricey. Anyways, that's all for now. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if there's any games you're thinking about getting and you're not sure if you're gonna like them, let me know and I might do a review on them. Thanks and see you all later.